Small mouths in the world. What's up, doggy? Not much, brother. Excited to be here in Wisconsin, man. Been waiting for this for a long time. Yeah, where we come from? Oh, man, we came from Kansas City. Okay. Repping that Midwest, coming out to try to see what the North has got for me. Trying to, you know, break some small mouth records. Catch my first muskie. I have never caught a pike before, man. Maybe get some of those in. Yeah, there's some toothy ones. Definitely there's looking some for something ones. a little different. I'm all about those brown fish. At least till I get a couple of them in the boat. Then I'm going to be ready to chase those big muskie. I like it, man. So give it to us. Uh, give us your experience level with smallmouth, what your dreams and aspirations and goals are for this trip. Uh, so smallmouth, I've been around them most of my fishing life, but from the Midwest, we don't grow smallmouth the way they grow them up here. Ours are a lot more long and skinny, so my biggest smallmouth today is a four-pound, eight-ouncer out of my home lake at Milford, Kansas, so I'm uh, excited to try to break that. I'm really just here to take a break from the grind of tournament fishing that I've been doing this whole year and just relax on a beautiful place with some good company and hopefully some big fish. Really just trying to trying to have some fun. Well, sorry to drop the ball on the good company part. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm stuck with this guy, unfortunately. But I think we're going to have some fun, dog. We're going to have some. We're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. buddy. Let's go. And they need temporary help. Yeah, there you go. Oh, God, big muskie. Oh my god. I'm gonna let you go first. He's looking at it. Dude, this thing is not coming. Thanks. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. god oh my god. Oh. Dude, we're so screwed. No, I got I, I'll kill him. I'll kill him. Oh my god, you just need some peace. Careful. I won't hold, I won't hold tight. There's a 130 pound line. Here we are. Manhandle it. Oh. Careful, careful, careful. I don't want to get the fish, man. Oh, oh. 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 Yes! Oh. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Hang on, just stay right there. Oh my god. Do I got boogers on my nose? <laughs> yeah, you do. Oh, Stop. Me, buddy. Oh, I just caught the biggest muskie of my life. Was there a net on board? No, and like, dude. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was wild. Did the bait? Did the pants? Is that close to being bad? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he turned on that thing immediately. Yeah. Let's get that eye slide out your pants. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, that was mayhem. <laughs> I was just like, if you said mayhem, I was like, fine. <laughs> like Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. It's his little battery. It's still working. Yeah. Except maybe something like that. Yeah, that's a giant. That's a big one. So we were running those shallows and we had seen a big muskie. Yeah, real neutral, up in the shallow, mud flat, just stunning. You know, uh, didn't re even react to our baits. Dylan's impressive figure eight did nothing to uh, quell any kind of reaction from the fish. Uh, but. 
Ran into a second second big girl. Once again, just kind of slowly cruising the shallows and uh, eyeballed her. Got the eye slide in the water. Hit it once. She kind of turned on it, almost like it, almost like it spooked. Yeah, yeah, right. It, just like it spooked. And then it, I think I turned that little moment of adrenaline and excitement for that fish into more of a oh instinct reaction deal because I just went right into the swim with the eye slide. And dude, she crushed it. Immediately. And, of course, we didn't bring the net today. Wild. I don't even know how Dylan grabbed that thing and didn't get a hook in him. He got him in his, in his shorts. I got either hooks or teeth on my hands. Um, crazy. But anyway, she fits in this big, giant Ranger live well. Ranger, <laughs> Ranger boats equals big fish, baby. Oh, God! about to get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a short run back uh, to the dock. We're going to get uh, an official measurement on this fish and uh, some, some dope photos. Big musky dreams, baby. You know, and, and that's, that's a fish, that caliber of fish is something I've been dreaming of ever since I left here. And to finally see one and put one in the boat after a few close calls this spring, uh, it's been tough fishing, so the uh, the juice was definitely worth the grind in this case. How you I, feeling right now? Oh, dude, I'm a cloud nine, bro. Yeah. Thanks for the assist, homie. Oh. Yep. Just to make sure she's cool. Take care of those big fish. It'll feel nice. Enjoy the spot, honey. All right, Kobe, you want to go ahead and open this box up? Let me see what I you like find. That. That's a good sign. That's a real good sign. Nope. You want to hold her up? You want to put her up on the board? You no, you got it, brother. Okay. Talk to us a little bit about uh, musky care and management here. Okay. Musky care and management. Um, that's a big head on here. That is a big head. The first, first most important thing is make sure your hands are wet. Uh, make sure you, you know, to, to fully support, support the length and the girth of the fish. In this case, she's not, not quite ready to come on out yet. That's a good thing though. She's nice, and, nice and yeah, fiery. Put the G juice in there. Yeah, the G juice will do that to her. All right. <laughs> All right. to keep in mind is the keeping the board wet so that the fish doesn't hurt herself or hurt her slime. It's 46 inches. Man, that's a good guess, huh? That's a big fish. <laughs> Alright, so see. Let's get her back in the yep, water. Let's get her back in the well. She's bleeding out her tail, so that's just a sign of stress. Fish there. Oh yeah. We're gonna do that. We're just gonna get her back to breathe for a minute. Look at the head on that. Yes, she's got a small body on it. What's that green stuff, Kobe? That is musky poo. That's doo doo, baby. That's doo doo, baby. All right, let her breathe for a minute. <laughs> PB musky, 46. Man, I didn't even catch that fish and my heart rate's still going fast. That's how much fun that was. That's what big musky dreams look like with Oliver and I. Wild. Just smallmouth fishing, minding my own business. All of a sudden there's a log swimming in front of the boat. Homie throws out a lure bigger than a shoe. Takes two cranks, this fish turns like it's spooked and just clobbers a 12 inch lure. Proceeds to get into the boat. We got no net with a 45 plus inch musky. It was a bit of pandemonium, but we handled it with mild grace and got that fish in the boat and had a heck of a time doing it. Now, Amazing, bro. I got to try that for myself. I got to know. Yeah, man. But maybe with a net on the other end. What? Now we got a net. Now we got the, now we got the net. And now, it's time for some smallmouth dreams, baby. 
do it. Let's do it. Can we do two PBs in one afternoon? Your musky PB, my smallmouth PB? I'm good with that. That doesn't seem like too much to ask for. No. Survival of the fit, only the strong survive. Yeah, we live in this till the day that we die. Survival of the fit, only the strong survive. We live in this till the day that we die. Survival of the fit, only the strong survive. We live in this till the day that we die. Survival of the fit, only the strong survive. We live in this till the day that we die. Survival of the fit, only the strong survive. In between two worlds.